think SEO does a great job preparing their students for our future in optometry. We get to do a lot of practicing, not only on each other, but we also get to start shadowing in the clinic very early on. We get to see different patients. You get to see older patients, younger patients, vision therapy, low vision, um, even optical. They prepare you for every part of optometry, so you feel very prepared when you get out. Well, the first thing that stands out to me when I came to SEO during my interview were the teaching labs on the first floor for the first year. The first week of school, you get right into the teaching labs and they teach you exactly what you're gonna be doing for the rest of your career. And I like that there are so many of them. Some of the schools I went to, they didn't have many teaching lanes or nearly as many as they have here. They have enough for everybody to be practicing in. You can come in after hours and practice as long as you have a partner, which is also a good thing about having a large class. It's a lot of partners to come in and practice with on the weekends or after school. That was something that really stood out to me. And each lane is set up like the lanes in the eye center. So when you go into clinic, you're prepared. It's everything that you've already seen before. You know how to work the equipment and the slit lamps and the monitors. And that was something I really liked. The SEO curriculum has definitely prepared me for seeing patients in the clinic. I can go in there and I'll see a patient. I know exactly what I'm looking at. Um, it's not like I really have to guess. And even if I'm not sure of something, the professors and the staff doctors are real ready to answer all of your questions. They are there to teach you. It's not just like they'll tell you what it is. They want, they'll remind you of certain things that you learned in the classroom and kind of lead you on the right path instead of just being like, this is this. They like to teach you along the way. They, the teaching aspect doesn't stop in the classroom. They keep teaching you in clinic and you keep learning so then you begin to recognize things. But I have def what I've learned in the classroom has definitely helped prepare me for clinic. When I came to SEO, a school wasn't as time consuming as I had originally thought. There's plenty of time to get involved in extracurricular activities, such as other clubs or intramural sports. School is definitely the priority, but SEO gives you a lot of time to be, be able to be involved in other things. So when I'm not in school, there's a lot of things that you can do in Memphis. Memphis provides a lot of things. There's a lot of restaurants. There's a lot of nature, hiking. Me and my friends like to go to Overton Square or downtown and go get something to eat. There's always a lot of live music, and that's something I really like about Memphis. A lot of the restaurants here have live music, and it's usually smaller groups that I've never heard of before, so it's really fun to listen to them. Um, there's Shelby Farms. Me and my friends like to go bike riding out there. I really like the Memphis Zoo. We have a zoo at home, which I think is really great, but the Memphis Zoo is just as comparable. Um, they have a lot of different animals. It's definitely something I would go do again, and on Tuesdays, you can get in for free if you have your, I think it's school ID. So that's something that's pretty cool that Memphis offers a way to go see certain things for free. I'd say Memphis is kind of like a big city with a small town feel. What I like about Memphis most is that Memphis, because it is small, the suburbs are really close by and Mud Island is where I live. There's lots of nature, you're right on the river, you don't feel too landlocked. I've never lived in a landlocked state before. So it kind of helps me feel like I'm kind of on the coast like I'm used to. So because I'm from Georgia, I have a contract seat. It's where you get a regional scholarship. It's kind of like in-state, but because SCO is a private school, they don't offer in-state. So it's kind of like that. If you have the requirements for it and you interview early enough, because they give it based on the order of students from that state who come, you can be awarded one. And the contract seat was just the cherry on top. When I was interviewing at other schools, it just didn't have the same feel. SEO is just so welcoming and everyone's just so nice and willing to help you and I really like that.